Hey guys, just a quick announcement before we continue Cinnamon's story. We have finally taken the time to create one single location for every single one of our mod lists. It's in our Discord in the RimWorld channel. Go up to the pinned messages, click on jump at the top pin there, and voila! You can now access every mod list for every campaign we've ever done. And we'll be sure to keep that post updated so it'll always be there right at the top uh, for any campaign we do in the future. Anyways, let's see what our starving artist gets up to today. In the last episode, we had an unfortunate event, which was our house burning down. But it's okay, it's, it was a small uh, part of our entire estate, so we can rebuild today. We actually will rebuild today. We'll stock up on food first, then we'll stock up on wood. Uh, we'll rebuild the bedroom, we'll make it even bigger and better than it ever was before. Uh, and then maybe, I think we'll even get off to some mining training and possibly start working on that electricity I've been talking about for the longest time. Note that up here we actually have four components, so we're relatively close to being ready. We need six uh, for the basic cooler. In any event, uh, let us begin, shall we? The first thing we need to do is just have Cinnamon sit here, uh, then go have a little bit of... You know what? We can have a little bit of fun because the horseshoe pin was destroyed. Okay. Well, since she's a night owl and it's the middle of the night, let's have her prioritize working on that. That's going to be the most important thing. Yep, fantastic. Came back together almost instantly. And now she's going to come out here and just lay in the sun. Oh, and now the rain comes. Thank thank you, rain. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't have come, you know, an hour earlier, right, as our house was burning down. Wow. So this entire swath from here to here to here to here has all burned down. More than half the map has burned down. That's crazy. In any event, let us uh, begin the soothing rebuilding experience. Hmm, the game decided to send us some smoke leaf, did it? All right, well, let's come grab it. Let's also take out this bear. Oh, wow, the bear got in a fight with bison. Okay. 21 smoke leaf. This is a really good opportunity here. Let's haul that back. We can use this to keep our moods high. Uh, and the fact that it slows us down will be counteracted from the fact that we have sensory mechanites that increase our manipulation. Of course, between the pain and uh, the consciousness loss, we may just go unconscious for hours. So I think we'll hold off on that for a bit. One thing I really want to do is uninstall this excellent wooden table. Let's have Cinnamon do it now. It'll only take a second. We did spend all that time caravanning for a reason to get this legendary one. Let's install that over here, shall we? And while we're at it, we don't have our bedroom yet, but we have this jo Wow! I had no idea when it said 5x5 five five that it was actually 5x5. Five five. I mean, I guess I suppose I should have, but wow. That is one heck of a huge rug unfortunately there's no symmetrical way to place it so we'll put that in like this let's prioritize working on the table and then we'll work on that rug really quick this will help our moods quite a bit because those are going to be very nice so we keep walking over this we'll just haul that urgently so eventually it gets pulled out of the way well if nothing else we have a fairly nice little room here a little awkwardly set up, but once we get a 3x3 three three table, it will literally fit perfectly right in the middle. Uh, let's take a look at the stats of the room now. So this is very impressive. 99. Somewhat rich, quite spacious, pretty, and slightly dirty. Okay. I did clean it just a second ago. Cinnamon does need to sleep, and it is the daytime. That, but I think what we should do is come grab whatever died out here in the mor or the nighttime when we wake up. Then we need to work on traps more than anything because our town wealth, even though we lost a little bit here while caravanning, it's now higher than it's ever been. So we definitely need some defenses. Okay, rest is all the way up. Let's come out now manually and take a look here. There's the bear. Let's see what it was fighting. 
bite bison. Yeah, it looks like the bear came out. And indeed, there it is, a full health bison, just as anticipated. Let's haul that in, butcher that up, make some fine meals for ourselves, lavish meals, in fact. Uh, and then we'll get on resowing the fields for later. And wouldn't you know, there's our raid. Are we prepared? We've got one, two traps total. A group of outlanders are attacking immediately, okay? And these are not the easy ones either. Uh, we're gonna sit here for just a second and get a little bit of rest. We're super tired from the sensory mechanites. 18, 19, 20. I don't want it to go to the point where they're on top of us. I wanna make sure we're out there. But at the same time, if I can get just a couple seconds of rest, That'll have to do 22%. All right, let's come out and see what we've got. So far, we see nothing. There they are. Omar is coming down. Okay. Omar's got a revolver. Let's go to this side then. Ooh, nice shooting cinnamon. Omar's going to run back, take cover. As he does, I think we want to hide. We don't want Omar to even take a shot at us. Nice shooting cinnamon, although it hit the vest. Yeah, right there in the torso for nine, so it doesn't look like it penetrated really all that badly. Death in 22 hours, it seems. Okay, let's come down here to the south now and look around that corner. We see nothing. He comes... Oh, he's going to light our table on fire. My God. They really do know how to draw you out. Oh, boy. Okay, luckily that missed. That just sounded like it was going to hurt. I don't want that thing to shoot at this at all. Now, the great thing about the revolver is we've got, like, basically zero setup. So, around the corner, boom! Instantaneous shot, whereas we have to take aim and wait a little bit. Not a huge fan of that, obviously. Uh, I want to come over here and extinguish the fire while I think he's ru running around over here. Yep, that indeed is true. Oh, there he is. He's going after our... You know what? Let's go right to this corner. Actually, we'll go to the tree. Shoot him in the back while he's trying to take out our source of joy. Okay, now we need to get out of here. Oh boy, that was dangerous. Might have been better off not even doing that. Don't want to get in a duel with this guy. One good shot. That's very bad for us. Now he's going to light the horseshoe pin on fire. <laughs> oh, nice work, Cinnamon. Okay. First thing we need to do, come over here, extinguish this fire. Omar now has some gear. Very nice. Let's be sure to strip him down immediately. He's got a nice, good revolver as well. Boom. Okay. So we got good flak vest at 96, good flak pants at 96, excellent flak jacket at 97. So let's take a look at the flak vest. Movement speed, negative 12. The flak pants, movement speed, negative 12. The flak jacket, movement speed, negative 12. Technically, it's 0.12. Uh, however, all of those add up to be quite a bit, and then we can't outrun uh, various enemies. However, putting it all on means we can survive a couple of hits, so it's a real difficult decision. Do we equip it and be slow and then not be able to run away? Uh, if there's a fast walker, that means we're guaranteed to engage in melee, and then we're doomed. If there's a fast walker, we kind of can't outrun them anyway, so it's really difficult. I think we're just going to store them inside the stockpile. Uh, did we, did we put the flak vest in the trash can? I am really bamboozled because the trash can now looks like it's full. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Cinnamon just threw away the flak jacket for reasons I cannot explain. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> well, oh, you know what? We didn't put it in there. Never mind, never mind. We put it inside here in the wardrobe. Yeah, that's where we put it. Okay. I feel much better now. I don't know what that trash can was doing or how it works, but the fact that it has any kind of mechanical change is not something I want to mess with. Whoo! Cinnamon wants to go wear the flak vest. Uh, you know what, though? I want to change it so that she can't, because I want her to be able to outrun. And I don't think that's a good idea. So we'll give her the worker clothes, and the worker clothes allow her to wear anything except uh, the flak, which is, which is exactly what we want. Smoke pot belt actually we can turn on as well. Okay. Cinnamon, very good.
Well, we have a raid. It says they're going to prepare for a while and then they're going to attack. It looks like they're coming from way down there in the middle of nowhere. So you know what? Uh, I think it behooves us to come out and actually go scout for them to see what they are. Oh, hello. Never mind. I see a bison, actually. You never... Let's come over here and butcher the bison instead. I'm really surprised. This, that's the second time I found a random dead animal down here. Thank you, Black Bear, the ultimate farmer of corpses. Apparently, I wonder how many more of those there are. I've actually been eating just raw rice uh, in in an attempt to get like a really nice montage of delivering wood. So this will be a pretty nice upgrade. Plus, these guys are going to wait anyway. Yeah, they're beginning their assault. How close are we to being fed? Not very. Let's consume a meal right now really quick before they get here. Our rest is low, but it's always low because of the sensory mechanites. Let's come outside and see what we've got. Oh god, okay. We see down here MJ, MJ has a machine pistol. Well, that's less than ideal. We want to get up to here as fast as possible then. Looks like it's just him. There are interesting characters now. Okay, he's going to probably stand right here. Okay, never mind. He's going to stand right there. Uh, if we leave, I think he might walk up here. Or he might go light something on fire. We'll have to go see. Let's come back. If we leave for even a second, he'll probably leave position. No. Ooh, nice shooting, Cinnamon. How's he doing? Torso, torso, death in 11 hours. I'm wondering if because we have a wall... Let's, let's check his skills first. His skill in shooting is a zero. Okay, our skill is actually a nine. Okay, you know what? I feel confident. We had the skill. They didn't. We had the wall. They had a tree. We took every precaution. And our plans done got wrecked. Just like an Ibex revenge. Oh my god. Okay, so this isn't actually necessarily that bad because we're only down because of the pain. Now, I knew the pain. I didn't realize actually that the pain was 60%. This is my fault. I thought the pain was 20%. The pain is actually 60%. Uh, and that's because it's gone up to intense. I did not realize that until now. I was looking at it before and it was just like the precursory level of it, which was plus 20. I just forgot to take a look. I've been too focused on trying to get like nice smooth montages here and there and collecting wood and just kind of filming. I'm, I'm, I'm doing more of an artistic, uh, artistic license, as they say. And I'm not so interested in the mechanics, it would seem, because one single bullet with a zero skill guy behind a wall was enough to put us down. Now, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna unpause. This guy could decide to kidnap us and leave. Uh, he could decide to light our entire base on fire. Uh, we actually will be okay. We won't die from this. If he decides to kidnap us and leave, he may collapse from the pain before he gets off the map and will be okay. Uh, this will heal on its own, even without a bandage. So it's just a matter of, will we lose the entire base due to a fire right now? Uh, let's find out. He's doing something. He's breaking something somewhere. Oh, yep. What did he light on fire? Critical alert fire. He lit the fields on fire. That's not too bad. Now, how? let's take a look at Cinnamon's health here on this gunshot. So, old gunshot 6.0, gunshot 6.0 machine pistol. Okay. Pain 7%. It just went down from 8. He's going to light every one of our fields on fire. This is great. Uh-oh. Oh, there were two of them. I didn't even know. If had I known there were two of them, I never would have taken this risk. Female drifter. Okay, looks like they're just going to destroy... They've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Now, this is good because MJ is the one doing the kidnapping. MJ just lit the fields on fire for two hours. So, essentially, we have to... Oh! <laughs> And Yuzuki's now like, oh no, they can kill us without even being alive, run! Okay, everything's fine, boys, everything's fine. 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8
Uh, that's down from six. We're healing. Slow and steady. Hopefully now. Oh, no. They lit our masterwork wooden wardrobe on fire, which was containing our good flak jacket. Uh, okay. Well, we're not going to die. Well, I don't think we're going to die anyway. Hopefully the rain comes soon. Sooner rather than later. Come on, rain. We believe in you. Don't burn down the house. So we can rebuild today. We actually will rebuild today. We'll rebuild the bedroom. We'll make it even bigger and better. I think we'll even get off to some mining training. Possibly start working on that electricity I've been talking about for the longest time. We're relatively close to being ready. We can rebuild today. We actually will rebuild. Aha! Cinnamon is awake, boys! We live! We live. We may. <laughs> Oh, thank God, Cinnamon. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. All of this stuff is gone. We have lost uh, all of our, our legendary table, our masterwork rug. That's okay, though. We did, we're not going to lose anything in here. Cinnamon is now bandaging, taking care of the wounds. That's fantastic. We lost all of our rice. We've lost all of our meat, all of our meals. Do we have a meal on us? We actually don't. She is zero rest, zero wreck, zero food. Okay, let's just let her bandage up one more time. Boom, taken care of. She's going to come over here and rest. You know what? That's probably a perfectly fine and dandy thing for her to do there. Uh, you know what we actually need to do is go equip our bolt action rifle before it gets taken down. Kind of need to put these fires out because uh, I just really do not want them to catch here and then come inside so just I'll just take care of it. we also lost all of our wood stockpile but you know what whoever needed a wood stockpile someone's gonna go rest right next to the fire and here comes the rain <sighs> well boys when we started this episode I said we would get a surplus of food and a surplus of wood <laughs> and now we're lying face down in the dirt with less food and less wood than we've ever had in our entire lives but no amount of ibex revenge can keep us down we will get up and we will prevail now, I know everyone's going to be very sad that we just lost many hours and several episodes of work, but through the power of several hours of my recording combined with probably a dozen hours of Bravo Wolf's editing, prepare yourself for the ultimate rebuilding montage.
And with that, we have rebuilt the colony 100%. This time, however, I am not going to go out and spike wealth by getting all sorts of masterwork items. Uh, instead, we're going to throw down a research bench and go directly to turrets. Simple research bench. I really like these ones. They're a little bit smaller, but at the same time, they just look quaint. Fantastic. We'll even put a fancy little chair in there. Voila. And that'll do it. Research. What are we working towards now? We need to go towards gun turrets. That's going to require machining, which is going to require smithing, gunsmithing, blowback. That's a lot of research. So this time we're just going to play it safe, research up the gun turrets, finally get around to building them. Anyways, that is the episode. Hey guys, outro me here. I really don't want to tell you how many hours we spent on this episode, but we love it and we hope you love it too. We spent a ton of time this week revamping our Patreon page because we want to keep making these episodes, but they're so time consuming, we really need your help. Also, all of our names for the campaigns come from our patrons and our next campaign is going to have a ton of colonists because it's going to be Wild West and there's going to be a lot of death. Uh, in any event, if you guys are interested, the Patreon link will be on the screen right now. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Ooh, nice shooting, Cinnamon. How's he doing? Torso, torso, death in 11 hours. I'm wondering if because we have a wall... Let's, let's check his skills first. His skill in shooting is a zero. Okay, our skill is actually a nine. Okay, you know what? I feel confident. 